going to talk about uh, digital current mode control using constant on time modulation. And from this lecture is slightly different from the previous lecture because uh, till the previous lecture we talked about fixed frequency control. Now we are going to talk about variable frequency control. In the last week we have learned uh, different architecture like constant on time digital current mode control, mixed signal current mode control. Then we have also learned constant off time mixed signal current mode control. So, we are extending that our architecture what we have learned in the last week. We want to develop MATLAB simulation model and we want to consider few case studies. So, first if you talk about mixed signal constant uh, current mode con constant on time control. So, this process is same, but the way of sampling is different that means here we will be using even based sampling and that we have discussed that means we will be talking about even based sampling not uniform sampling because it will lead to instability and then we need to consider that means if we consider the analog because in the you know in that architecture we have discussed the monoshot timer is used for constant on time modulation in addition to that we need to consider the minimum of time because for practical realization this is something mandatory for any commercial product that we use. And here the current loop is in analog that means we need a D to A converter. So, after the controller output it actually we, we have to use a D to A converter and then analog comparator is there and the output of the comparator is used as a event trigger clock. And then output of the comparator so up to this point even if you consider this point it is same as the constant on time current mode control that we have discussed in our previous NPTEL course and that we have also explained in the architecture exploration. So, this part if you consider any analog that means you know if you consider any analog uh, you know constant on time current mode control that we have discussed it is the same it is the common common for this block is common. But only this digital block A to D converter and the DAC these are the new things and that also requires sampling. So, that means first analog to digital converter and we have discussed that we have to use the event trigger ADC and this event signal we need that means we need an event clock to sample this ADC because it has to be sampled non-uniformly. So, that means we will use first an event trigger A to D converter to sample the output voltage. So, this is a sample output voltage we have to use a sample output voltage. Then after that sample output voltage will be compared with the reference voltage then we will generate the error, error voltage. Then this error voltage will go to next compensator the controller it can be P, PI, PID, but since it is a current mode control we are typically considered the PI controller. So, now in this PI controller again we have to realize using and this block is exactly same as whatever we, dis we have discussed for previous two classes for full digital as well as mixed signal as well as voltage mode control we have used using difference equation right. Difference equation and difference equation with clock synchronism with clock synchronism. The only difference in the earlier case we have used a fixed frequency clock now we will be using an event clock here which is the event clock, but the block diagram realization is exactly same. That means if we go to you know this is the you can if you use a PID controller same thing only this clock is different. So, this is the vital point here. So, now we are coming to the MATLAB block. So, in this block we want to implement so everything else is same you have a power stage block which is common and is a controller. So, here if you see the PI controller 
the realization is exactly what we have realized for the last two classes that means we have realized in the same way the mixed signal current mode control as well as the fully digital current mode control or voltage controller was pi controller and we have used this clock synchronized difference equation but the difference is the trigger signal there we have used a uniform clock maybe with a customized time timing that we can delay the clock but there is a customized clock which has a fixed frequency that we have used but here you are using an event based clock how is it generated so if you go to inside this is the modulator will come constant on time modulator so based on where that means when the inductor current hit the reference current that is the trigger point that means whenever the inductor current that means reaches the value point that is the trigger point inductor current reaches the value point then you trigger and that trigger is used to update the you know to sample the adc update the controller but we can also shift the time because once this edge comes then it will trigger it will enable the mono shot timer since the mono shot timer overall duration is fixed and that is defined by the designer then we can we can in fact generate this trigger signal any time with within that uh, on time because that is in our hand but off time is not in our hand because off time is governed by the comparator but whenever here we are taking just whenever the mono shot timer is enabled we are actually generating the trigger pulse but we can slightly delay this trigger pulse maybe in between the on time in between the mono shot timer uh, that means when the mono shot timer is enabled it is enabled for on time so you can take half way of the on time and generate the trigger signal so it is customizable next once we generate that trigger pulse is used to actually generate this pi controller to enable this pi controller and the same trigger pulse is used for the a to d converter voltage loop for the controller computation here because we are not considering for the time being any delay but one can use delay but here we want to make i want to first give you the you know concept how to implement rather than go going too much into advanced detail and this block is common this block even if you take an analog constant on time control this is simple like you know it takes the inductor current it is in analog domain and reference voltage reference current which is coming as if it is like a d to a converter in simulating since it is a floating point data but in actual realization you need to consider d to a converter and that that means both i rep and il are analog so you can use the analog comparator and then it has inside it has inbuilt mono shot timer and this is used for minimum off time that means every constant on time control has to have a minimum off time now if we go back to our realization that means we have discussed how to design because we are using current mode control so we will not use pid controller but i am showing a generic realization of pid controller and we are using this pi controller so this is a matlab block diagram once you have this event trigger adc then you have an error voltage then you can realize this controller and this controller is updated by event clock then current comparator since it is in analog so it is simply just a comparator in matlab and this comparator output whenever inductor current that means if we draw the inductor current this is the inductor current and if we draw the waveform that means if we draw the this valley current waveform let's say this valley current um, so whenever this hit this current as if here we are generating this event clock as if here we are generating the event clock so i think uh, we should update the diagram mm. sorry yeah it should be like this it it will be compared after that it may be updated so we should use this and if there is any change let us say so this is just the valley point and whenever it touches the valley point we are we are presently taking here as the edge clock edge but since the on time is fixed this is the total on time it is fixed you can in fact generate clock here no issue because this is in our hand so that means we can customize this clock and ultimately that clock will be used for your 
controller computation and as well as the ADC conversion. Okay. So, the MATLAB generation that comparator then it goes to the monoshot timer. So, that means after the comparator output it goes to the monoshot timer and monoshot timer actually it will be loaded with the on time and it needs to have a minimum off time. That means this is the minimum off time realization and this we have discussed you know this implementation in a you know our last week architecture exploration. So, here in MATLAB we are going to implement this. That means this is a subsystem and we are going to complete MATLAB implementation we are going to do. That means first thing our power stage, then we have a event trigger ADC, then we have an event trigger controller, then we have this regular the comparator analog current comparator, this is the analog current comparator, current comparator. I would say it is a voltage comparator, but sense current. Then output of the comparator goes to this is our constant on time, constant on time modulator, which consists of the monostable monoshot timer as well as a minimum of time. So, this is a total complete MATLAB block diagram of the constant on time mixed signal current mode control. Here, if we go inside this block that means I am talking about if you go inside this block first is the event trigger A to D converter. So, this is the ADC for voltage sampling then this is for GC controller again it is the event trigger voltage comparator and this is the constant on time modulator. So, this is a constant on time modulator and this part is we have discussed in our previous NPTEL course and this is we have already discussed in the last two classes that how to realize the controller PI controller using difference equation and using our customized clock. So, here the clock is the event uh, driven clock. So, if you go to the MATLAB now this is the complete realization and this is the if you go to this block. So, here we are using constant on time. So, you can customize the on time minimum of time you can provide as you wish and you can use the PI controller this is the analog PI controller and corresponding digital values are given. And we have already shown the total block diagram the PI uh, block diagram this is a modulator block diagram and then these are the uh, event trigger A to D uh, block. Now, we want to show a, a simulation case study. So, I am just simulating you know it is for load transient response that means I have applied a 20 ampere load step up transient input voltage is 12 volt and output is 1 volt and initially it is starting with 1 ampere. Now, if we see that this is the constant on time modulator ok inductor current and we want to show also let us see if we go to the plot command we want to enable the sample also that means let us this use blue color yeah so this i am showing here what i am doing here if you go here whenever the switch is turned off that means here the inductor current hit then you take the sample okay even there can be variation in the time period because if you take particularly this case you see here the time is varying actually because on time is fixed but the off time is varying on time is fixed so as a result the sampling time t is also varying because it is a variable time uh, control and we are using event based sampling so the sampling is happening with respect to event so naturally the sampling is rate is also changing when there is a transient but under steady state they get more or less fixed and the switching frequency also get locked and if we want to regulate the switching frequency then we have to update the timing parameter particularly the constant on time so that you can achieve the desired switching frequency so and whenever we will go for that means we can easily realize the constant on time uh, control okay now i want to show 
an interesting case study that means since it is a constant on time control it is a one volt output so that means it should be inherently stable so we are talking about two volt input that means let's say 1.8 volt input because it is less than it is more than 50 percent duty ratio okay but at in fact constant on time means the valley current mode control so valley current mode control in fixed frequency it is unstable for duty ratio less than 0.5 so it is perfectly stable and you can see even with a high duty ratio also the current loop is perfectly stable so there is no problem with the current loop it is perfectly stable because that is the beauty of this constant on time off time control there is no problem with the stability of the current loop high duty ratio and earlier we have used a low duty ratio so if you con consider low duty ratio so that means for wide duty ratio range this is perfectly stable there is no problem okay so here i am just showing uh, very high and very low duty ratio so you can use for yeah so perfectly stable so let us go back to our so that means in summary we have discussed custom matlab model development for constant on time mixed signal current mode control and we have also discussed few simulation case studies so we will be considering constant off time mixed signal current mode control in the next lecture so that's it for today thank you very much